Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, December 30th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. My dad always used to say that people don't tell you what they're going to do with their words. They say it with their actions. So I'll leave it to you guys to tell me what Phil Heath's actions say about what might be up next on the slate for him. Phil released a behind the scenes training clip last week where we saw the seven time Olympia champ looking as good as he ever did in any off season during his title run. There have been a lot of rumors about Phil possibly making a comeback next year, but it's stuff like this that adds fuel to the fire. That being said, he's only 40, he's still in ridiculous shape, and you know the fact that he's only one win away from tying the record has to drive him crazy. So unless we hear him say definitely that he's done for good, I say we let the rumor mill keep cranking. I know there are a lot of people who believe that turning into a slop jockey during the off season is the only way to make progress, but I think my man Brad Rowe would like to respectfully disagree. Brad posted an off season update a few days ago where his conditioning was absolutely insane. According to Brad, He's sitting somewhere in the neighborhood of 245 pounds and cruising pretty comfortably through his latest phase of his program. At least for the moment, Brad's completely healthy and back to doing what he does best without any restrictions. So hopefully he can keep it up that way because he can do some damage when he's at his best. Sometimes I think we forget what a difference a year can make. Look at Latoria Watts, for example. At this time last year, she was still in recovery from surgery, and honestly, a long way removed from being one of the most dominant forces in the figure division. But fast forward to today. Not only is she healthy, she's also three months removed from an Olympia run that saw her put together a runner-up finish that gave Sydney Gillen a run for her money. Latoria's been an absolute force of nature for her entire career, and I have a feeling she still might have a lot left to prove. And finally, we're closing out today's show with one of the biggest news stories from the fitness division that we've had all year long. In case you haven't heard, last Thursday word broke that Oksana Grishina was coming out of retirement to compete in the 2020 Olympia. As a four-time Olympia title holder and 10-time Arnold Classic champ, Oksana was easily the most dominant fitness athlete of the last decade. This is huge news in a division that hasn't had back-to-back -back Olympia winners since she retired. But now that she's thrown down the gauntlet, you have to wonder if she still has it in her to get back to that championship level again, because she's stepping into an arena with a gigantic target on her back. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.